In my interview with Greenville McLean High School technology teacher Nathan Luke, I heard many things that were familiar. He discussed the importance of Web 2.0 tools and how one-to-one -one and mobile learning are trending right now. He discussed the challenges facing educational technology and was quick to point out two challenges that are key stumbling blocks to the implementation of technology within our district and likely for countless other districts in the same type of technology scenario. First, he mentioned budgetary limitations. Now, this is to be expected, as there are inevitable costs to technology, and those costs can pile up rather quickly when looking at the volume of tools and resources needed for even a moderately sized school district. The line item in the budget for technology uh, is a consideration that must be made when implementing a drive toward furthering technologies in the classroom. However, the second challenge was really the one that caught me off guard. Not that I had never considered this challenge before, in fact I had, uh, when our district began purchasing newer technologies such as uh, Google Chromebooks for a number of grade levels throughout the district. Uh, yet the challenge that he mentioned seemed to be, I guess, somehow larger than any other facing our district. And this challenge involves infrastructure. Mr. Luke discussed the sheer volume of traffic that flows through our servers on a daily basis. Students are bringing their own devices, such as phones or tablets, and connecting to the public Wi-Fi uh, side of our network. Teachers do the same with their own devices or if they have uh, laptop computers that are their own privately owned tools, they connect those to a, a separate teacher side of the network. Uh, the school provides devices for students that are on another portion of the server and teachers, computers, yet another. So our server, while functioning, is essentially maxed out. Yet, still, Greenfield McLean High School is toying with the possibility of implementing a one-to-one -one technology initiative as early as next school year. Now, while this concept is ideal for usage and, and the possibilities are really actually very great in, in concept, those possibilities start to shrivel when considering the excess server load that will be needed to support such implementation. Sure, one-to-one -one would be ideal, but if the server cannot handle the traffic passing through it, then the value of such decreases exponentially. So the answer to solve an issue would be to invest much of that precious budget toward upgrading infrastructure. The problem here becomes convincing others of this, especially those that are not technology minded. The question uh, that must be asked of those making this decision is, would you rather have a small number of well-functioning resources or a plethora of tools that cannot fully function? This will be decided seemingly sooner rather than later.